Home Run Derby. Home Run? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So where are you watching that at? That's what put David... I'll be on cable. That's what put David Wright out of the baseball. Well, speaking of Home Run Derbies, congratulations to the Mets. Uh, they lost 50 games already, but their rookie, uh, Aaron Posse, set a Mets rookie record by hitting 27 home runs. They're 27 today, so... That's the only bright spot in their season. Let's go Mets. Well, as a Yankee fan, Aaron Judge broke the all-time rookie record two years ago when he passed Mark McGuire. Who was allegedly on the show. Uh, well, you know what? He said he never took steroids. That is legally accurate because he didn't. It was injected into him by his trainer. Well, that's just like saying, Marion Barry said, he, when he had all the prostitutes in the room, he was being one. set up. And she was an uncovered cop. Yeah. And he was being set and up. And there was only one prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing, Rick? How many prostitutes did you have in the room? How many prostitutes did you have in the room? Mary Berry. He only had one. What? He really didn't have any. How many right. did you have? I mean, who had it? Mary Berry. He only had, he didn't have any. Did he? He had an undercover cop in the room ah, pretending so to be a yourself. prostitute. Was he smoking crack? Uh, yeah. Kind of who did he have? The bitch set him up, man. The bitch set him up. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Am I right? Yeah. Hey, what number's 41? It's Metric, you're right. Tom Cena. Wow. Who was suffering from Alzheimer's. Is he? Yeah. Why would the Oracle know that? The Oracle knows everything. The Oracle, <laughs> knows, everything. <laughs> the Oracle knows it all. Anything else you got to tell us? Oh, oh yeah. Wait, wait, before you go further. I wasn't leaving. Okay. I know you weren't. I just want to give a shout out to the women's soccer team. I, like to I did that already. You did that already. You are listening. Yeah. Okay. But, I want to give a shout out to my baby sister. Happy birthday, Valerie. Happy Woo birthday, Valerie. Happy yeah. birthday to my buddy, Daniel Jones on the West Coast. Happy birthday, Daniel Jones on the West Coast. And speaking of the too. West Coast, a lot of earthquakes out there. Be careful, people. I hope you guys are all right. Because my sister, she works out there part of the time when she's down in New York. She works for the airline industry, in flight director. Funny thing about earthquakes, you know, growing up as a kid in New York, your grade school teachers would say, New York never has earthquakes, hurricanes, or tornadoes. Yet in 2011, we had all three in the same year. That's right, and they, and they ended up in Brooklyn, right? Oh, yeah, a couple, yeah, because uh, we had a couple of water spouts became land spouts. They came off the uh, East River, Hudson River. But the funny thing is, that's not really true because... Farmingdale, Long Island has always had tornadoes. And Your I parts thought, of New Jersey have had tornadoes. I thought the earthquake in Brooklyn. Yes. On the King's Highway area. Oh, yeah. Really? Let me what, what tell you a funny story. Okay. I was in, I was in Brooklyn. I felt an earthquake. I saw the light fixtures swaying back and forth. And then, within a week, I went to Aruba. And then had an earthquake in Aruba. What you got to say about that? I, I would say that you are well traveled. <laughs> I've been to Aruba. <laughs> I would have shit myself if I had been in Aruba and it was an earthquake. Well, I would totally crap myself. Then. Quite frankly, an unrelated story. I was working in Manhattan the entire week. Getting around was very difficult because Clinton was a person at the time and he was in New York that entire week. So the following week, I said, let me go on vacation. I went down to Hilton Head, but couldn't get there either because he was playing golf down there too. Wow. The Hilton Head. Don't mind me. Yeah. I'm just passing by. So sure. Go get this on film. Nope. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah. Anything in, in, in WNBA? I haven't been following them since the uh, yes, women's the team yes. left uh, New York and went upstate. But I will say this much. Uh, 
The women's all-star game was always the week after the men's baseball all-star game. That's good. Who are you rooting for this year? You know, I want to finally see Lady Liberty win. I want to find. I want. I want Liberty win too. I mm -hmm. think I'm going to go with you. And I think the balance of power in the West has shifted. I don't think the Warriors are going to be back next the year. Warriors. Clippers yeah. are now favored to win it all, thanks to getting Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, Kawhi Leonard and um, Paul uh, uh, George. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it looks like uh, LeBron James got out and moved it again. And you know what? My prediction is that the Lakers and, and New Orleans is going to be in the Western Conference Championship. What about the Nets? What about these Nets? They have an, <laughs> the Brooklyn Nets are greatly improved over the Manhattan Knicks, okay? Well, they got the ball on Kyrie Irving. You know, he doesn't make anybody look good by himself. They got KD? KD, he's going to play for next year. So probably, I think Brooklyn Nets, mark my words, Brooklyn Nets will win the championship 2021. Well, we haven't gotten an ABA team to win from the East yet. The Spurs were in the East, but then they moved to the West. So uh, Ooh, they don't wait, count. Didn't the Nets get a championship ring? The no, not, no, not in the NBA. Not in the NBA? Only in the ABA. Oh. <laughs> the Nets went to the final. Right? The and, Nets. And who was on the ABA team? Dr. J and Al Moses Skinner. Malone. Al Skinner, Moses Malone. No, he, uh, he was on the Pacers. And what's the other guy's name? Uh, well, well, you had uh, Super John Williamson. Right. Then, then you had uh, that tall, you had uh, Jan Van Bredekoff, coach was Kevin Loggery from St. John. Uh, they had, uh, oh, the guy's name was Fox. They had a few other guys, his name is slipping my head right now. They had a guy named Fox? Wendell, Wendell Latner, well, he got killed in that plane crash in 75, but he won with the first team. You're dark. <laughs> I'm <laughs> um, well, look, I, I am kind of, look at my complexion, I am kind of dark. <laughs> Who doesn't love Pretty Ricky? <laughs> so, is there any, anything else like boxing? Well, well I'm not, and look, I've been busy all day, I have not kept up with boxing. I can, well, well, hold on, hold on. What did you do 4th of July? Give me the 4th of July? 4th of July. 4th of July. <laughs> oh, can I, can I interject something here? Sure, Kyle, because we've been going with this argument all week. You have? Now, you, you may call it Fall of You Lie and Fall of They Lie and all of that, but not one of you is going to put down their hot dog and not celebrate the 4th of July. Well, I've been going meatless lately, so... <laughs> Amen. Full of oars. <laughs> and I've been cutting back on pork and beef. Okay. Oh, <laughs> but I'm sure that the two of you, the two of you, are not going to stop celebrating the Fourth of July. You're not going to put down your beer. You're not going to not watch the fireworks. Any of that. Or, well, I. Did not have a hot dog, but uh, <laughs> can you specify, please? <laughs> please, please, be, please be clear to the public. You didn't have a hot dog, mm -hmm. no. but I did have a vegetable patty. <laughs> Second tip radio. Second tip. We're trying to. You never know with second tip radio. All I, all I got to say is this. It is the 4th of July, and we all celebrate the 4th of July. We all celebrate what America means. You may have had issues with America. Yeah. You may have had problems with this country. But this country is where people thrive. You see? It's where they, they scrambled to be here. That's right. And because they scrambled to be here, we celebrate. Yeah, 4th of July. 
And I saw a very interesting post. Someone posted on Twitter. I don't think it's right for people to come into this country and demand to stay and flip the bird if you don't like it. And somebody else posted, why not? Your ancestors did it. <laughs> wow. And I also want to add that that was post, no, that was slavery at the time. And, and, and that's why I don't celebrate the 17th You do celebrate the 4th of July. I don't celebrate 4th of you, July. You've had, you've had hot dogs. You've had hamburgers. I have hot dogs on every day of the day, a week. You've had, because I'm a bachelor. You've had beer. What's that mean about hot dogs you've all year beer. round? Yeah. See how the woman chimed in. Hot dogs. This is a sausage fest. Ding, 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 ding. Well, usually, uh, it's, I'm always bringing up an all female cartel. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Now we're going to add Pimp to Pretty Ricky's persona. <laughs> well, Iceberg Slim had a 180 IQ, so I can't deal with him. <laughs> yeah, that was the news with... Hold on, hold on. We got to go back. That was the news with... What's <laughs> the news